Yo, what's up YouTube? Today, we got a replay review. You know, I got a fan, he, you know, he wanted to do a replay review. I said, sure. He sent me two replays. I'm in the call with him and a buddy. Uh, probably not gonna have the buddy in the video too much, but he's GC1. Uh, I'm gonna be coaching him. Gonna try to get him to SSL. And yeah, I mean, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're Grand Champ 1, 2, 3, any rank below SSL, this will get you to SSL. This is good tips. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it's not too long. Uh, we'll try to cut it down as much as we can. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, make sure to like, comment down below. What else you guys want to see? Subscribe, hit the, the bell, the bell, hit the notification bell. And uh, yeah. See you guys in the video. Peace. You're what, GC1 or something? Yeah, this is GC1, yeah. Okay. Is, I think this is 1450. Oh, this is with comms. Alright, good yeah, start. I don't, I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, over here, you could have. You could have probably. Well, so my issue with this is. I don't know whether to like tell you what the like. So okay, here would would should I like jump off the wall and diagonal flip it in? Because I think that's a shootable shot there, right? Yeah, I mean, if you could shoot it, you should. I feel like you should have aimed to like. I think at worst you should have just hit it high, because you want to make it awkward for them. But okay, I would have just shot it properly. But obviously that's hard. Or you could like light jump touch this down or something. Okay. Yeah, you kind of rushed it, but. The game just started, it's so whatever. Alright, so you take the back. I mean, okay, so one thing I would say okay. is in twos, you want to cheat up like pretty much every time, unless you okay. call it. But for the most part, cheating up in twos is super good because if the ball like stays in the middle, you have a like free 1v1 or you just get like free goals. I think this was a good idea. I think you probably could have followed it up. Maybe you weren't confident enough to go for that, and then they just had a good shot. I mean, in, yeah. in twos, in twos, the main thing you want to focus on is either keeping it close and like being able to follow it, which you did. You just didn't like commit to it, or just like hit it super hard, like over right. the opponent, so they can't get a good hit. But I think I just, that's why. That's why I just need to jump off there because like, yeah. that's hittable with 18 boost, right? Yeah, I mean. You could have got a better touch that would have made it easier for you, but that's still a that's still a ball you could hit if you tried for tried to go for okay. it. All right, you got the time. You're a dribbler. Nice. That's like the second time you've done that. Hog. That's a good play. I don't. I don't think I use it enough. I don't think I use it enough. <laughs> what the the catching thing? Yeah, well, there's like dribbling, because like at least recently I've been finding myself just like solo playing it, like the dribble and just like scoring it. But like, I, I enjoy the air dribbles and they just don't work. <laughs> like, I'll get a really good air dribble and I'll just like go for, have to go for the dunk or something and I don't dunk them. Oh, well, I was gonna say in twos, like it's nice to like focus on mechanics because like you can outplay more in twos than you can in threes, so it just helps you get better overall as a player. So I think. Going for mechanical stuff is good, just to like get better at it. But okay. So yeah, over here there's like you have two options here. So he touches this, you can you know you you have him beat because from where he is, if you think about it from his POV, he Ooh. can't he can't jump for this. So this is essentially a free ball, because like you have to look at your opponent's car here. He's on he's pretty much on the wall, so it's a free yeah. touch. So you, the hard play, but like the best play would be to go over and like pop it up and follow it. Obviously that's like a really hard play, but if okay. you get it down, it's really good. So that's okay. like, that's like a, that's like a big thing. It's like looking at your opponent's cars. That's what I do. I, that's what pros do. I mean, so. Okay. So can we watch the flip reset? So I've, I've been, that's yeah. something, that's something brand new. I've started working on. I don't go for flip resets. Yeah. So <clears throat> I, um. I don't know. I don't. How how do I how do I hit this? How do I hit this? Like, okay. do I just should I just be boosting earlier? So, well, first, that's I can a hit good it with pop. like neutral air roll. I can hit it with neutral air roll, but with air roll left, I don't understand how to do it yet. 
Uh, I don't really know how to explain how to use like arrow left or right because it's like it's like a feel thing. I've tried like teaching multiple people how to use it, and it's just at the end of the day that like it it's more about them like practicing and getting used to it themselves because I can't really tell you how to hold it because it's different every single time depending on where okay. you are. But, so like here, should I like okay, so if if I'm if I'm planning on going for flip reset here, do I? Should, should I go for it with like the neutral air roll and just take the fact that like it's gonna be slower, or should I just like be missing this and be okay with the fact I'm missing it? Yeah, it's and just, just just to get better. As long as you're practicing it, it's fine. I mean, I would do the rings map if you know what that is, the workshop. Yeah, I've been um, I've been doing it ever since I came back. I've been doing obstacle course one and two every day and tiny rings. Yeah, do there. So, okay. honestly, what you did wasn't that bad. Now you got a boom, maybe an air dribble or something. Oh, you almost got it. Uh, so, okay, so this is like a, this is probably like, this is going to be a hard play, all right? But th yeah. I'm just going to tell you like what I would do here. So, all right. you see uh, Ketza, he's like pretty much close to the ball. This guy is all the way on the other side of the map, right? Yeah. So that means in between them, you have like a huge amount of space. So what you want to do, you want to hit this against the ceiling. Like, like oh. you want to flip the ball into the ceiling, because that way it gets over Ketza and in between Chalula, so only you can go after the ball afterwards. And then it's just like a, a good placement shot on that works. Okay. So what you want to do is like, yeah, yeah. So you want to do is you want to put it in a spot where both of them can't reach it. So if you use the ceiling here, you would be like taking advantage of the space they're giving you. Okay, I appreciate. It. I, I actually, I don't even think I thought about that there. I don't. I think I was trying to air dribble it, and then I had to salvage it. Yeah, in this game. Are you a G two fan? Do you watch G two a lot? Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't watch anyone specific. I kind of just been watching all the games recently. I, I kind of just watch everyone. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I was gonna say if you watch Complexity or G two, you'll see that like everything they do it requires using the wall or the ceiling for their plays. So. Yeah, there's a lot of wall to mid passes and stuff. Yeah. It's kind of nuts. <laughs> Alright, so I think that game, you didn't really pick up that much boost, like the pads. Um, I mean, the game's super situational, so I'm just going to say like habits that I saw was probably like... Uh, okay. Well, some of them were just mechanical stuff, if I'm being honest. But it was just the boost pads and... Uh, your challenging wasn't that great. Sometimes you wouldn't get the best 50 or like, uh, you just position poorly for stuff. Like you didn't predict where they were going to be or how you were going to hit it. Because this uh, this game is, I don't understand this entire game. I, I, I genuinely don't know what's going on. Well, I can already tell you, you did good this game because you have alpha boost on. <laughs> yeah, I think I turned Bacchus on. <laughs> Is, wait, is there a reason people use Alpha Boost instead of Mono Boost? Because it's like it's harder to see. Uh, no, it's 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 the coolest looking boost. Has like the best sound and uh. Okay. <laughs> people just think it makes you go faster. Like it's like a placebo. They think you, yeah. you go faster with it. So in this game, I was actually playing decent. You look a lot more confident just... now. Yeah. I think it's because I was higher rank. I don't. I think that's a that's one of the placebos for me. Is that once I start ranking up, I just start playing better. Like even if I was trolling the last game. <laughs> yeah. No. No. I. I feel it's the same up in SSL and stuff. Like the the more you win, or like higher rank you get, you just get more confident. Like, I could tell you're confident because of this turn. There's a good turn into a pop, and you followed it instantly. So I'm just like, all right, I can I can tell you're you're uh, feeling pretty good this game. So. I think I don't know what happens here. It's just, uh. Yeah. Should I be in midfield? Oh, yeah. like, I, that was I just want to see where your teammate is, that's all. You know? The thing is, when you take the boost, you have to do something with it, right? Yeah. And I would say here, you should have went up the wall. Because you go up the wall, you're like, oh, he's going to hit it here, I could dunk him. And for some reason, you go down. But if you just 
Oh wait, sorry, this guy. If you just stayed on the wall, you probably could have 50 him or something. Okay. And I, I run into that a lot where I have like the means to get there, I just don't like do it. Like right here, like if I if I was boosting the whole time, I probably would have smashed that challenge. Yeah. And then I don't know what your teammate's doing. I mean, he's just in, yeah. in Narnia, but yeah. <laughs> but I think the right play here is to challenge the ball because as first man, you should be you should be the one challenging the ball, like for your teammate. And just okay. like you just want to force something, right? Obviously, yeah. like. In the lower ranks, it's kind of hard to trust your teammate unless you're like queued with them. But the main point is for the first person to challenge and the second person to save it. I mean, so other than like rings and like the optical course maps, cause I've been using optical course maps forever since I saw like Karma make a video on it. Yeah. Like what what what, what like what, what mechanics should I be working on other than just be able to like aerial the ball faster and stuff? What mechanics you should work on? Well. I think air dribbling, obviously you said that, but I think air dribbling, if you just understand how your car moves and stuff, air dribbling pretty much just like makes every other mechanic easier because it lets you know how your car moves and how the ball moves when you hit it. And okay. then besides that, oh, one big thing. So I've coached like GC1s and stuff before. Yeah. I don't know if you're bad at this, but most GC1s, are really bad at hitting the ball hard like just straight up like hitting it hard like like clearing it or like shooting it or something yeah okay i think i, I think i can normally get power on it as long as i get like a clean hit and not like mechanical error i think the aiming is my problem the aiming yeah i mean so the, the issue with rocket league is most of it is experience so like there's a lot of situational stuff in this game so the more you play you'll understand what you have to do in certain spots but okay for now so, you seem to be doing pretty all right for the amount of hours you have like what you have like 2k you said that's yeah, really 2K. that's really nothing to be honest that's like like every pro yeah. has like 10k hours right now and stuff it's like that's that's why it's painful <laughs> yeah Did you guys just play the games i don't just, just trolling like i yeah. don't know how many aerials i missed this game man it's been but, too many if Honestly, like you'd, you'd be kind of crazy if you got your mechanics better. No cap. Yeah, you're doing like uh -huh. the you're doing like the right stuff for like a lot of it. Okay. Uh, I, I like to hear that because that just means I need to put more time in. Yeah, put, put more, more time, time in. Mechanic. Uh, probably focus on boost pads. Probably. Oh. Probably don't go for that. Uh, probably focus why? on. Why? Yeah. Why? Okay. I, so that looks like the dunk spot, right? Well. To be honest, if you waited, right? Yeah, let's imagine you wait here. He would hit this to you, and then you would just get a 50, or you would score, something would happen, but... I think okay. over here, going for this is way too risky, because... You see him there, He's you know he's gonna get a touch on it. And yeah. it just it's just not scorable, it's not a scorable position. So, I was gonna say, um, any suggestions for, like... Mechanics to actually work on first like I know air dribbles cuz I'm, I'm actually always working on air dribbles Like if I like in, like I do it in free play, but like should I do it in like a custom training or like like other other like Resources I should use for that This one this one that teaches you how to do the popping one that I told you about oh Because this one teaches you how to do this you See Dude, that? That's nuts That's disgusting Okay, so how 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 how? How? How do you do the tornado spin? I mean, you hold air roll the whole order. time. You hold air roll yeah. the whole time, but you're not supposed to like only tornado spin the whole time. Like, you know, I'm not just yeah. I'm not just going like woo like the whole time. I kind of okay. my analog stick is like moving in every direction, pretty much holding oh, it. Oh, okay. So so you're starting with the tornado spin, and then you're moving your joystick to the left. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think I think putting in hours is the best thing. So that's it. Yeah, just put in hours and you'll be good. So, that was the whole... so it's essentially, don't don't stop. Don't, don't take three month breaks. <laughs> oh my God, taking breaks in this game is horrible. It's actually horrible. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up.